going to talk about uh, x-rays, how x-rays are produced. Uh, this is an application in Year 12 Physics South Australia. Uh, what I've drawn here is a uh, an x-ray cavity. Um, this is just basically a glass tube uh, elongated. Um, the glass tube is evacuated uh, so there, there are very few atoms contained within there. Now on one side we have a filament and that filament uh, is just like uh, the ones that you see in light globes um, it uh, has a potential difference across it and uh, this is a small potential difference on the opposite side of the x-ray tube we have our target and the target has cooling fins because it gets quite hot between the filament and the target we have collimating slit um, and uh, they're only the, they're the apparatus that I'm going to talk about contained within the x-ray tube um, something interesting about heating up a, a, a filament is that um, you supply energy to the atoms contained within that filament and and in doing so you free some electrons and those electrons are going to leave that filament or be free to leave the filament now uh, they don't particularly want to go anywhere unless we put a reason and the reason they want to leave the filament and go towards the target is because we put a a large potential difference between the filament and the target um, and we can designate that uh, our delta V large potential difference so the electrons are very quickly accelerated they gain a lot of energy across here across that potential difference and they strike the target or rather we'll think of it like they strike the atoms within the target and this is by no means to scale of course there's lots of atoms in that target if we're lucky enough that uh, well luck has nothing to do with it there's, uh, there's a beam of electrons so there's many of these electrons hitting many of these atoms in this target and often will have an electron striking the target atoms um, head on and uh, interaction with matter, matter interacting with matter, if it strikes head on often it gives, the electron will give all of its energy, all of its kinetic energy over to that atom and that atom will take on that energy, uh, raise an energy level and uh, and, and then it won't be happy there so it drop back, drops back down to its ground state and emits a photon by the conservation of energy it must emit something it must get rid of that energy somehow uh, the kinetic energy of these electrons is sufficient that uh, when they do strike head on uh, the, the atoms within the target emit x-ray photons um, and these x-ray photons of course are useful we use them, have done so for over a hundred years we use them to to look inside people's bodies to see uh, all sorts of things but we might talk about that in a video later um, I guess one of the things that uh, is important in calculations in year 12 physics 
is that uh, you have to know how the energy, you have to be able to show how the energy from the electron is transferred over to the X-ray photons. What's the connection here? How are they related? And um, you'll know that uh, if you've done some study, the charge of a charged particle multiplied by the potential difference across which it travels is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency and we're going to say because we're going to consider only the atoms that that hit head on we're going to say all the energy is transferred and we have maximum frequency of X-ray photons going across so knowing this we can rearrange this of course we know Q is the charge of an electron and delta V is our potential difference across the tube H is Planck's constant Uh, frequency is the frequency of the photon. Rearranging this, we get charge of the electron multiplied by the potential difference divided by Planck's constant. So what this says is that the work done causing the electrons to move across the gap is, um, is, is directly proportional to this potential difference and, and so is the, the frequency of the resulting photons. Um, and in another video we might do some calculations uh, on, on how to, knowing the potential difference, um, remember that this is, this is variable. So the radiographer can change the size of this potential difference causing uh, faster and faster electrons or slower and slower electrons and hence causing uh, harder x-rays or softer x-rays depending on the application uh, or the density of the tissue that they want to send the photons through.